welcome to my video and in this video I'll show you how to make good videos okay when you record on Windows you have got pretty good software like Camtasia and several other and uh, I have got one real tech sound card a cheap one on board but its software provides noise suppression and acoustic eco cancellation while in on Linux I don't have anything like that I get the plain driver released by open source community and uh, I was recording using a very cheap uh, say twelve dollar uh, headphone and you might have observed if you have viewed my videos then there's a lot of noise in those videos and my cousin complained that there's a lot of noise in your videos so I thought uh, okay I should do something about this noise and I worked around 10 12 hours I searched internet and then I found a way to record beautiful videos noise free videos on Linux using all so open source tools so as you can see I am recording this video right now by running a script ffmpeg.sh this script contains this information you can read the documentation of ffmpeg for various options this is also con plugin through which I am recording one channel 128 kilobit bitrate pulses audio server x11 grab is the video grabbing format this is my screen size this is my frame rate and this is my display and this is my video codec audio codec flak flak is lossless so i kind of love flak and then i'm putting it in a avi container so since i am recording this so i cannot really edit this video i have created another video to show you how to reduce noise from that video now to edit the video you need an editor and there are several Finalara, KDN Live, Kino. Finalara people are not giving the binary format and source code I tried to compile but it didn't compile so well I started with KDN Live. So here is KDN Live and I have generated uh, one file temp.avi 1.7 MB inside few seconds and this is the one which is currently running you can see its size increasing so I'll edit this one and uh, I'll show you how to do it okay KD and live crashed so I'll have to relaunch it KD and live crashes it's not very stable it crashes quite a few times but it doesn't pose much of a problem so I'll choose the first video which has been recorded okay so it does not match the profile I go to my profile and I change my profile my profile is full HD so I set it to lowest frame rate so as to get small video size and now I have this video and I drag this bring it over here zoom it a bit so this is the video which you see and you can see if you zoom more that uh, let's choose some section you see this small small signals are consistently there throughout let me show you you see these small is there throughout this is your noise so to filter the noise you need a low pass filter you click view and click effect stack and then right click this add effect and audio go to GL and select glam low pass filter it will show you cutoff frequency of two and a half uh, megahertz ok 
Okay. Well, a big plane passed and uh, kind of destroyed the effect I was creating. But <laughs> so I'll have to <coughs> manage this. There's a air force uh, field nearby. They fly lots of planes. So I found that when I set it around 200, it gives better output. So. I set it to 200 and then I play it. And you will see the noise is a lot less. But note one thing that when you will set uh, frequency around 200 hertz, your volume will go low to what you have recorded. So what you do is you right click again and you add an effect and you say that uh, you want more volume and then increase it. Increase it to your requirements and then play again. Select this and play again. So when I will upload my video, you will notice that it contains a lot less noise than what my earlier videos used to contain. And also, you should keep in mind that when I have recorded this video, my gain was set at maximum. So this is something you should uh, note down and also note down that while exporting in which format you will export. What I will recommend for exporting is for those who are going to host it on servers like YouTube, WebM is the best format. I'll tell you why. Because there are two factors. One is the size and second your upload time. It may not matter for people living in developed countries like USA or UK people who are living in countries like India or Africa or South America, it matters a lot that the file size is less. So you choose WebM, you choose, you click render and then you choose WebM and then you render to file. It's a bit slow while rendering, but I have a 4 core processor, I'll say encoder thread 4 and say render to file and we start rendering. This is a small file, but still it takes time. You will have to be patient while uh, it uh, renders your file to WebM format. And uh, then we will play that WebM file in Firefox. Okay. So it has rendered, and now we have our WebM. So see, WebM is 1 MB while FLAC and uh, libx264 were 1.7 MB, almost 60%. So now we we'll click this and uh, we have got our rhythm running and we can set it to full screen because I have recorded uh, for uh, full resolution and the quality is awesome for this size. I'll recommend to all uploaders that you record in WebM. I'm not very sure at this moment though whether YouTube supports WebM format or not. I'll have to upload and see. So that's it from my side. But uh, I will uh, uh, request you that if you want to record videos, then you should learn KDN Live, which is a very fantastic editor. Um, I'll honestly say that I really do not understand much of uh, all these filters. I mean, there are so many filters and effects that uh, it blows your mind and the bad part is documentation does not exist. I tried uh, looking in the Ubuntu repository, but KDN Live documentation does not exist. I'll have to look at its website and perhaps join its forum. and. There will be a way out, right? So that's it for now. Thanks a lot. And thanks for hearing me. And if you like this video, please uh, press like. And if you dislike, 
You can press dislike as well. I don't have an issue with that if uh, the video is bad.